Hi everyone, I'm Catholic artist John McCoy. Thanks for watching the video. This is the digital and traditional painting process behind my commissioned illustration entitled Praying with the Saints. This piece is all about uh, a contemporary priest praying alongside a young St. John Vianney. 11 different time periods, but the point I wanted to make with this piece and I wanted to inc in incorporate that point in a visual way, as I'm called to do as an artist, is the communion of saints, the cloud of witnesses that surrounds us, that is real and alive and close to God, that we can ask them to intercede for us and we can pray together to God and praise God in our, our being. This video will be a two-part video. It will be the digital painting process and the traditional painting process. I will be comment, have a commentary over those two sides of the video. And the, the digital painting process is created in Photoshop using the Cintiq Wacom stylus. So I'll create it in a format that's stop motion. And then the traditional painting process you will see through the eyes of the GoPro on this gooseneck mount, which is sort of a POV perspective, looking directly at the canvas, watching brush stroke after brush stroke appear on a blank white canvas until the painting unfolds into a completed painting. This, I, I so enjoyed doing this painting, mainly for the lighting on the face of, this, of, the, of the saint and of this priest, and the lighting coming in through the windows, the, the, the symbols at play in the work, but also just like the joy in, in St. John Vianney's face and showing that that is a real disposition and a character toward God in prayer. Um, it, the piece also incorporates a line from one of St. John Vianney's prayers, which is, um, it's, it reads, I love you, oh my God. Now, we say oh my God in our culture in a terrible way. Like, <laughs> It's used so banally, it's, it's used so tritely. I'm making up words here just to get the point across that there is a proper way to say, oh my God, which is a deep, deep appreciation for the, the majesty and glory of our God. Um, and that's what this prayer is, a, is about. Really, this line is repeated so many times in the prayer. And I would like to just... I deliberately chose that line because I knew it had that cultural context and I wanted to replace and reclaim that cultural context. Art has the power to do that to a degree. So I want to say if you'd like to comment and you have any questions for me about my painting process, I want to share that with you. I want to, if you have any unique questions about how I do something that's not, that you don't see in the video or you feel like you would like to know more about, just, just, Type it out, send it as a comment, and I'll be, I'll be replying to that and letting you know how that, that um, answer your question as best as I can. Um, also, if you like, I would love it if you shared this video on your social pages um, because I feel that the Holy Spirit uses word of mouth as a means to, to work through people. Um, and that's something of that, that uh, process I believe also is integral to my calling as a Catholic artist. Um, so I would appreciate that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm always creating new videos and I'm always trying to, in the best way possible, um, accurately portray what it's like to be an artist, what, a pa what the painting process is like um, and how that unfolds and what kind of thoughts and, and prayer goes into that process. Um, of creating unique compositions that, that harbor spiritual meaning. Um, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, welcome aboard. <laughs> um, I'm working on not saying I'm so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. God bless you guys, and have a good day. Take care. <laughs>
these figures into their figures. And it's a little bit different than uh, my usual painting process, which is to work from the very beginning as a sketch for the composition. Uh, a lot of tweaking in the photograph to like make sure the composition um, flowed nicely with the grid. And, and I had an idea already of what I wanted to do with uh, the composition when I went to this church to photograph, to take references, stuff like that. So that's very interesting to see right there. Half St. John Vianney, half, Sa half me. <laughs> I almost said saint. I hope I'm a saint at some point. But it's a very extensive process, and this really, time-wise, doesn't really even begin to capture what goes into this kind of work. Uh, but it's very imaginative, very creative, and it's just pretty cool to see that come together, to see uh, a face slowly transform. It's a lot of digital painting, a lot of... Um, keeping track of the lighting, the, the pre-existing lighting in the composition based off of the original references of myself uh, standing in as those two figures. Um, and then here you just see like the, the tweaking of the, the composition once that face, those two faces and those two figures are completed. A lot of digital painting and it's a very fun and exciting process. The traditional painting process, here you're seeing from the GoPro's point of view, which hovers just over the front of the canvas. Um, in the beginning, really, I the whole process is about placing things down until I get the image completed. And a lot of it's morale boost for me. Like, what do I need to block in so that I can see it coming together for myself? Seeing it to it come together is really important for me because it, it gives me the inspiration and motivation to complete a painting. A lot of times I will... Um, save the the figures for last there's a lot in the process of pinning down right there like the sketching getting dark lines to cover up my initial sketch um, before I put in washes of color because if I if I don't put the dark lines in I'll lose my initial sketch if I went in and washed in some colors over the face I would wash out my sketch and I would lose those very important points of reference for myself about the structure of the faces especially the faces would probably be one of the most intensive parts as far as sketch and, and proportion and understanding the very specific proportions of an individual face. Really, the rest of the process is a lot of layers. Um, just builds up over time. I find myself more and more these days using washes of color and not so much thick, opaque paint application. And I would say the reason for this is because it's been ingrained in me for a long part of my life, the digital painting process, and the digital painting process is a lot of layers. Um, but also for acrylics, in the sense that acrylics dry so fast that to have an open medium to blend and blend color in that fashion to keep the paint live and keep the paint wet so that you can do those blending techniques Acrylics just aren't, aren't really there. Now I use glazing medium, and which does extend the wetness of the paint and the drying time of the paint. So I will do blending in some cases. And really, if, if I know what I'm doing and I know what kind of path I'm gonna follow in filling in a certain area of the painting that requires blending and rendering, if I'm working fast enough and I got all the paint light up, laid out on the palette, then I can keep going and blending each edge relationship of the new territory I'm covering, if that makes sense. But I gotta move quick, and it's it's a, it's a, yes, it's a very quick process. On a side note, also, I wanted to say that the painting process reflects my spiritual journey in life. The layers, the building of up layers, the little pieces that make a whole, and I see myself as a canvas that God's painting. Um, so, I'm, I'm aware of that constantly, as I am journeying in each individual painting process and their struggles and their trials in that process. Not everything comes very smoothly and easily to me. Um, that just reflects my, every, every painting I create, I go through those stages of struggle, doubts, trials, errors, and then a resolution eventually, but just the, the overall coming together and the hope I have that it will come together as it's supposed to come together, that's how I look at life. So some of the symbols at play in this painting 
probably one of the greatest symbols in this painting is the windows, the light emanating through the windows into this church space. Um, and the stole that St. John Vianney is wearing matching the color of that window. There's something spiritual, transcendent, otherworldly in the sense of heaven um, and the dwelling place of this saint. That tying in as far as color goes. Not only the color of the stole, but also the albs that... St. John Vianney is wearing. It's a white and a green, and the window is predominantly a white and a green. Another symbol at play is uh, the hand positions of the, pr the contemporary priest and St. John Vianney. The contemporary priest has his hands folded and lower than St. John Vianney, and really, this is to express a spiritual journey toward sainthood, which is just simply communicated by an increase compositionally in the height of the placements of the two hands. And that about wraps up the painting. This piece was so much fun to create, and it was very cool to be able to express the themes I wanted to express here. There you see the final painting. Thanks for watching.